boys, I wanted to move on to the final thing we had today, and that's a little discussion topic from me. Um, and it's something new that we haven't done yet on the show, and uh, we're going to make a tier list together. Whoa, I see Phil, but it's not Hold pro- on. Can you not? Can you, can you not? Can you just relax here? Oh, just Let just make get the journey. thing out, all right? Let me get it out. I got to press buttons. All right. So uh, we're going to make a little tier list together of the best video game console controllers. Mm-hmm. I have not held all of these. Uh, I mean, I've I've held every single one of these, and uh, I have information, and I can I can let you know and tell you how they, how they feel. I haven't necessarily played a game with all of these, but I've at least held held all of them. Uh, these last four down here, I don't, I'm not very familiar with, like especially these two. Um, uh, uh-huh. this it's one a little just looks hard like a PS one, like so a DualShock blurry. one with like inverted uh, get, get. analog sticks. Like these look like they they go inward instead of outward. Um, and then this one, I have no idea on the, on the far bottom, right? I have no idea. looks like some kind of like Xbox controller with like a flat D pad, one analog stick, and maybe like a handy capable controller. I'm not sure. Legane says, oh man, I already know where this is going. Uh, I guess you'll find out with controllers. Let's I guess find you'll out. just have to, you'll have to see Legane. Uh, Here we go. we're going to go we're, in release order, um, okay. kind of company by company. We're going to start with Nintendo. Uh, as like the place that started it all. Uh, let me open up the floor to you boys with the original NES controller. Listen, it's it, it's one of the first ones ever. Uh, you know, you could go further back and find some real dog shit controllers than the NES. I think the NES is fine for the time. It does what it needs to do, but un like unequivocally, it's a brick. Uh, it's not got the best buttons on it, and so like I'm gonna put this. What do we have? We have what are the different got, things? Goat, so great, got goat, great, good, okay, and bad. I would put the NES at okay. So would I, mainly because I hadn't felt the controller. I'm assuming it's not the greatest, but look wise, it just pops. It's got a nice style to it, nice retro look. Yeah, the, yeah, uh, I mean, the, the look of it, the, they definitely did did a good job with the the little decal sticker that they threw on there for sure. Yes, definitely, definitely hard agree on the look of the controller. However, it, it, it does not feel great. Uh, to hold, I do like it, um, but I feel like it's primarily the nostalgia of like just that feel of having it in my hand. Yeah, um, I, I think the uh, like in terms of like generic controllers, it's like the peak, but it's the peak because it's like it is default, right? Like that's the controller mm-hmm. you see in a cartoon because they're like, all right, just draw a quick controller, right. or whatever, like something like that. that you got the, that's you got the what D-pad, it is. you got the start and select, you got the A and B buttons. Yeah, so, you know, all the respect in the world for being one of the first, like, actual good controllers, but it, it just is aged like crap, yeah. you know? And it, it just yeah. really the, the choice to just have hard right angles, you know, hard 90-degree angles on the, on the mm-hmm. like, in the boxiness of it was a bad choice. Well, I mean, they, they, hadn't, they hadn't discovered rounded edges yet. Yeah, they didn't exist. Circles mm-hmm. didn't exist yet. We didn't have circles yet. Pay no attention to the actual buttons on the controller. But, right, 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 right. No, Those no Greek circles. bastards Those always just did columns. No circles. <laughs> it's actually a cylinder. Oh, my mistake. It's going, it's going through the, the controller, you know. Uh, moving on to, I'd say, uh, a, a market improvement. We got yeah. the Super Nintendo controller. Uh, we've improved from, from two buttons to now four. And we still just have the D-pad, but D-pad you got some rounded select. edges here. It's a little rounded more comfy edges. to the control. Little, there's uh, shoulder buttons on this one. Oh, um, yes. Yeah, I, I almost just forgot. They, they they're like little clicky buttons, things. Yes. They're, not, they're not great, but yeah. Um, uh, this one, I think, is a marked market improvement. I think it looks great. Uh, you know, we're, of course, going off of the American SNES controller. Um, mm-hmm. You know, if you go to, like, the Super Famicom and stuff like that, you know, have a little bit more color pop. Um, but I think, I think the two-tone purple is uh, uh is solid i think it's a good choice i think it looks uh aesthetically real nice i think you know that it's got a bit of a little bit more of a timeless look to it than the nes nes is very much retro very much old very much 80s 90s type thing snes i think you could look at that today and be like oh cool game controller you mm-hmm. know um mm-hmm. so i'm gonna I- i'm gonna start the bidding at a great i think this one jumps all the way to great uh, uh, I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna say I, I'd be okay with great if I get outvoted, but I'm I'm reaching more towards good. As someone who hasn't touched the controller, a little small, it's yeah, a little small. Uh, I, I I would defer to your guys' decision if you're both hands. the same. But I you know it's different here from you two. But I don't like the look of it. it looks bland. 
SNES was my first uh, oh. console. Damn, I, didn't I have that. very little nostalgia for it. It's it was one of those weird things that like it just appeared in our house. We don't mm. nobody remembers mm. how we got it or why we got it. it before. I, like I wouldn't even call myself a fan of video games when I was playing around with that yeah. thing. You know, I was just a, you know a wee baby, so I don't have a lot of nostalgia for it. But yeah, I think uh, I I I mean I think just the look of it. Uh, yeah, I think it looks I think it looks great. I think you know SNES is is a just a great console, uh, mm. and so yeah, I'm. Uh, I would push hard for a great over a good, but you know it's okay. not the worst thing in the world if it, uh, if it falls to good. For for the sake of nostalgia, I'll I'll, I'll side with you and I'll, I'll put it in great. We'll there go we great. Go. Moving on uh, <laughs> to we go. what I think is is not a hot take. Uh, the N sixty four controller is hot garbage. Yeah, it's bad. I'm not going hot garbage. It is bad. So go ahead, throw it in the bad. But I'm not going I'm hot done. garbage. Uh, yeah, that stick feels terrible. Um, the third, the third grip weird. in the middle is weird. It's a weird choice. Um, I do have a lot of nostalgia for the N64 controller, but I can put that to the side. Uh, but yeah, I think, I don't know, man. There's something about this era, something about that era that has a, has a cool charm to it, but undeniably, yeah, like it's just, it's just weird. It's mm-hmm. a weird thing. And then having I, a trigger I button think- on the, on the middle grip was a, was a choice with the Z button thing. That was weird. Yeah. So I think it is, it is without a doubt the worst uh, game controller. I disagree. Okay. Certainly the one that I've had the uh, undesirable pleasure of playing with multiple times. Yeah, it's the worst. From what I know. All right, this next one. We might Contra- fight a little bit here, guys. Oh, I mean, I'm, I'm anticipating the fight from, from Tavin. But mm-hmm. I will rise up and defend the GameCube controller. I think the GameCube controller is good um, and possibly even great. Uh, I, I very much love... Uh, and have a fondness for this lovely little purple boy. Um, but I'll, I'll go ahead and shoot to you guys. Uh, aesthetically, the GameCube controller is is great. Uh, aesthetically, it looks fantastic. Great use of colors. Again, the purple really pops. Uh, a, a really good choice. And in, in just how the, the controller looks. I like the colors of the buttons. The colors of the, when they choose to use white. When they choose to use green, blue, yellow. Not blue. Uh, red, uh, yellow. All great stuff. However... The functionality of those shoulder buttons, those don't feel good to press at all. They're, they are too soft and then weirdly clicky at the end of your pull. It's very strange. Mm. Uh, I don't think either stick uh, feels great to use. And the, the placement of the face buttons is awkward. You never get used to it. You never fully know which one is Y and which one is X. Um, you only really know which oh. one is A and B. And then that C stick is, I think, is, is one of the worst things to ever grace a controller. Um, Absolutely not. I yeah, would I go... I would go, this is okay above the NES, um, but I'm not mad at it good. Uh, no, I think, I think the GameCube controller is great. Um, I, so I have to disagree with you. Uh, we got to let can, it go, guys. We got to let the GameCube controller go. It, it's time to no. let it die. It's, it, it, and that's also my thing of it, is it would have been fine if it stayed in its era. I understand with the Wii, there was built-in backwards compatibility and things like that. Wii U is a little bit more complicated. Why is this thing adaptable to the Switch? Why are we still dragging this piece of hardware forward? It's not that good. We need to let it go. And, and, and it's the fact that it has stuck around through eras has spoiled the taste of it for me. Mm. Mm. Well, the Tavern is bitter. Very bitter. He's always bitter about everything. His peach tea still not good. <laughs> yeah, it's Lipton. <laughs> Uh, but for um, me, it's I, gonna have to go in great. Connor, let me, let me, you're gonna, oh. have, you're gonna say great, Connor. Were you not finished? No, no I was, I was, I was moving to you. I didn't want to ah. interrupt you. Oh yes, yeah. Uh, th- yeah, the button placements are weird, but not in a way that ruins the entire controller, but rather just requires a learning curve jumping from any other controller to that. Uh, the C stick I like. You know, I always loved how it felt in Smash Brothers specifically, mm-hmm. getting those strong attacks. Uh, I was actually very happy when the Nintendo 3DS XL that I got had a little, you know, like node that functioned as a C stick. I always yeah. loved that kind of stuff. It was badass. And the big thing about the GameCube is that it feels really good in my hands. It does I like, feel good in the hands. It yeah. does. It fills out in the palms real well, which I think mm-hmm. especially makes up for that learning curve you'll have to go to uh, form factor, you'll have to you fix. Know? Yeah, that, yeah. <laughs> which is how I rate controllers the most. Uh, just how it feels in my hands because I've experienced lots of controllers that just crampy, that feel make my hands feel crampy. They're too small. They're clunky. This one hits that sweet spot. For the button, I, I understand why people think it's like, would say it's the greatest of all time, uh, or at least in that category. 
But I don't even with the nostalgia I have for it, I'm not such a I'm not so fanatic about it. So even though it feels super good, those button placements make it prevent prevent it from getting it to goat territory. I, I, I'm I'm why is the tier in two forty? I don't know because this is what we have. Mm-hmm. Um, budget. Yeah. Maybe can I? Is there a way to? By the way, hello, DD was taken. Saw you did the first time chat earlier. Nice to have a new guy here, or what? Uh, well, I, I, it's also it the images. Like is, is so me, me that and Tavin are going to override. Uh, sorry, me and Connor are going to override uh, Tavin, and we're going to put GameCube in great. God, no, hold on, I'm I'm fighting real hard. Those, you guys, those shoulder buttons are terrible. They're not. Though, bad. They're, they're absolutely great. awful. They're actually the, great. No, I love the, the Z button. The Z love... button is too stiff, and the 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 bumpers do not feel good to use. You they see, don't. The Z button's the worst part on that controller. Bumpers, they feel fine. They the C fine. stick is the worst part of that controller. It is not. It, it is absolutely is. Why is it C angular in awesome. the in its thing? It sucks. It's terrible. Angular? It feels natural. No, in the in what? the in the cutout of it, it's not a circle. It's the angle. It's like a fucking octagon. Yeah, in there. Octogate. The, the, regu- the regular control stick is the same way. I think it's kind of based around. Okay, it's both bad. <laughs> That's it's bad. Here's the thing, Tavin. Is I think it's kind of based around fight sticks. And also, they function that same way as well. With the exactly. Octo Gate is what you're talking about. For what? This. For what? Is GameCube known for fighting games? No, but I'm just saying that element of it is like an arcade cabinet. Okay, it's like an arcade. But stick. now we're so in, we are in an era of gaming where this is unacceptable. PS2 is PS2 is around. Xbox is about to is about to kick down the door. Uh, uh, the PlayStation One was around. There is a version of the PlayStation One DualSense that has analog sticks. That the, this we'll is shock. Nintendo being weird and quirky for the sake of being weird and quirky, and it holds them back. Like with the angles on things, it's just the overall controller design with mm. where the face buttons are, with where the sticks are, with how the sticks are formed. The C stick is terrible. It, it's not a good. It is. It, it, it at most, I think this should go in good. Like I, I, I think there's just so much. Like, again, the form factor, how it feels in your hands, is fine, is good. The buttons do feel good to press, right? But the sticks don't feel good. They feel nubby and, and like, this is a toy in an era where we could probably take this a little bit more seriously. And the shoulder buttons are crap. Like, they really are garbage. Why are they so soft? And then why is there a weird hard click at the end? It doesn't feel like I'm pushing buttons. It feels like I'm, like, fingering a pillow uh, that gets crusty halfway through no, but, I, yeah, I love I, but i love the the um the dual like the duality of that where like for some games uh, I'm, I'm gonna shoot to super mario sunshine where it, it served a purpose right so if you held it not all the way down you would be able to walk and shoot flood at the same time but if you clicked it in you would stay stationary and and be able to like move and like aim I think that's that's so, that's beauty of good game design, but that but that's them working around the functionality of a poorly thought out controller. It seems like that's built in with the design in mind of the GameCube controller. The, with Absolutely. the pressure sensitivity yeah. of it, uh, yeah, that's an idea, and that's an era of gaming is mm-hmm. where yeah, pressure sensitive buttons were <laughs> uh, a thing. Well, I guess we're kind of back in that era in a way with the adaptive triggers. Yeah, but those are way better. <laughs> I, I hate the adaptive triggers. Why? They suck ass. The only reason why that's not going to affect the score when we get to it is you can turn it off. They just, it's like, why do I need to feel like there's resistance when I'm shooting a gun on a game? Like, it just, it's unnecessary. Oh, it's rare where that's even a thing that's happening. Yeah, but I mean, like, even when it does the cool things of, like... You gotta play Returnal, man. What? You gotta play Returnal. I mean, but that's fine if that's one game that does it well. Every other one Spider-Man has Spider-Man 2 did it well. What? Spider-Man 2 did it well. Uh, no. Well, that's not entirely true. I liked it when you break open the stones... That's the only time I would be like... That felt good, but yeah. I was thinking of when you have to, like... There's pressure gauges, on, and they bring up the two things, and you got to, like, like hold the different triggers at different mm, levels yeah, of thing. Right. Yeah, that, that's fun to play. Well, we'll get there when we get yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Jump but, yeah, I think... I think... Yeah, I think this, the, the, this fucking thing, like, it's just... Like, I don't see how it's great. I think it's got it going great, but... Why? Because it's great. It uh, feels great. The it, controls it are fine. The sticks are fine. Um, I'm being told that stream died, but we know we're still recording, so... Okay. Uh, are we putting it below the SNES? It looks like we're back. Um, I would argue hard, hard below SNES. <laughs> I wonder why you would I mean, say that. Yeah, because it shouldn't I'm be not, in this fucking tier. I'm not, I'm not the, I'm not that guy that's gonna like order them in the tiers. I'm just gonna keep them in the, in the same tier, and then we, we can, we can have a separate discussion later if we want uh, about like where to place no, them. No, let's, for now, let's order them. Why are we not tiers? ordering them? It's order the whole, them. That's part of the that's point the of tier point. Is it? Yeah, I've, I've never really done that. It's like bottom of B tier to top of eight. Like, thank B-tier you for the for that kind of confirmation stuff. that we're back. Yeah, that's nice, fair. Thanks. 
Okay. Well, um, if if I'm I'm fine with putting it below SNES. All right. I'm not, but I've never held the SNES, so yeah. Next up, Wii Nunchuck. Oh, we got the Wii Mote and the Nunchuck. Yeah, yeah. We got the Wii Mote. Um, a weird one. I'm this gonna, is I'm a weird start one. The bidding at this. I'm gonna start the bidding at this to just be okay. It depended on the game that you were playing because, like, Wii Sports, amazing. You know, it was super fun yeah, to be active with those. The, this is the thing where the gimmick of the console does push it a little bit further than most, but it also holds it back in a lot of ways as yes. well, you know? Um, I was initially going to push for good. So was I. Yeah, uh, because okay. undeniably the Wiimote does feel good in the hands. I think the triggers and the buttons feel great. Um, sure. I think the diver- the diversity of how you can configure the controller, whether it's uh, holding it like a TV remote, turning it sideways, putting it in a in a grip, um, using it uh, in like Mario Kart in the in the wheel and stuff wheel, like that, yeah. attaching the nunchuck, all the functionalities of the nunchuck okay. and stuff like that. Like all of that's really, really cool, but undeniably this controller is of its era and cannot live outside of its era. That's um, true. Oh, for sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and, and I think also undeniably, I, even though I just praised it for how you could turn it sideways and use it that way, uh, it also sucked when you when you turned it sideways yes, it and did. used it that way. It was trash. Right, yeah, yeah. Um, I think a lot of the buttons are like the the Wiimote is too long. Uh, it's it's difficult to slide your hand down to get to the that one and two button uh, if you're holding it vertically. And um, yeah, and then also just like how it looks, like it just doesn't scream video game. Like it doesn't look like a right. like a controller for video games. So no. Um, I would put. I would still probably say good, um, but I would not be mad if it's like top of okay. The thing about it, it has to be good just because of all the different ways you could use it. As you said, uh, I also remember very fondly playing House of the Dead and just being able to do like shooting kind of games, mm. arcade kind of games. You'd with also the Wii get remote. just just because of the technology, of the area. You'd get mad because the fucking the sent the motion sensor wouldn't work. You'd yeah, be like, it, sometimes it just sucked. Desynced and over and all over the place and stuff. So so I guess that like. What are we talking about when we talk about these things? Are we talking about like how they functioned with the console? Are we talking about how they look? Are we talking about how they feel? How the buttons feel? I think, I think all of it comes an amalgam of everything. You know, yeah, like it's, it's, some it, things it are better comes, than others. Comes together. Like I think game, like feel, I think is more important than versatility. But those are all factors into why we determine where it goes. I'm mm-hmm. still going to say good, but it's going to be at the bottom of good. Probably like oh, yeah, whatever I'm, else. I'm fine there. putting it in good. If if I did have it in okay, I'd, I'd obviously have it in front of the NES controller. Mm. I'll live with that. Uh, but yeah, good good is fine for me. Uh, moving on to the Wii Pro controller. Put it in bad. Move on. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's it's not good. I, I underneath I on in 64. Um, it just yeah. Probably Stick. just move right along from that. It just doesn't. Uh, it doesn't feel good in your hands. It it it's it feels cheap. It's too skinny. It, it's yeah, almost like it's yeah. almost like they tried to like combine the like NES or SNES with like a GameCube controller in a way, and it just didn't work. It looks like it looks like an SNES. It looks like what could possibly a modern SNES controller, and mm-hmm. it, yeah, it just it it's bad. A bad. lot of uh, we lover we control lovers in the chat. I remember I remember like the shoulder buttons being really bad. Yeah, the shoulder buttons are not good. Yeah, the the yeah the feel of the button presses aren't as good. Like it's just yeah, I would say it's bad. How do you put the SNES, control, SNES controller into great and this one into bad? Because SNES is of its time. By the time you get around to the Wii, it's inexcusable to have a controller of this that, shape of this and form. Of yeah, of of this uh, caliber is it's just it's you got you got to step up your game. It's it's too modern. It, it's it's allowed with the SNES because we're still two D games only. You know, mm-hmm. by the time you hit that third dimension, you start needing analog sticks. Yeah, no, that this is unacceptable. Uh, now I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna step off to a, a controversial limb too, here. Too modern in the and sense I'm- of like it's too new, like it, it, it is too recent in time. Like it, compare it to its peers. You know, we're on PlayStation Three at this point. We're on the Xbox Three Hundred and Sixty at this point. It is, and and, and, and you know, spoilers like PS Three controller is not gonna rank high either. But mm-hmm. like. It, it, like it is like th- just the way that the Wii Pro controller fits in your hand is not good. Well, uh, all right. Well, moving on. Uh, like I was saying, I was I'm gonna step onto a controversial limb here and defend the Wii U gamepad. Uh, I'm gonna put this at the top of okay. 
nope, this is bad for me. It's the the sticks are in the wrong place, the buttons are too far apart, uh, and the Wii U pad is a dumb idea. Yeah, the, it just, like, there's a reason why that died out. The original Wii Remote was ahead of its time? How is it ahead of its time? It was abandoned and never returned to. I mean, that does, it doesn't mean it wasn't ahead of its time. It just... That's kind me, of, kind of what made, made it bad. This point no, not for bad. You. Let me make not this point good. for you, Tavin. The Wii U gamepad walked, so the Nintendo Switch and the uh, PlayStation, uh, whatever it's called, the Dual portal? something, right? The Portal. The Portal, yeah. The hmm. PlayStation Portal could run. I wouldn't put the Portal in the same conversation here, but uh, it, it is it is a half-baked idea trying to find success off of the the hype of the original Wii, and it's just it's not good. And mm -hmm. it doesn't feel good in your hands. I think it feels great. Uh, no. Any time I've, anytime I've ever played it, um, I've also loved, I love the idea, like, how with the portal, you know, you can uh, be playing games on the TV, and then somebody comes in, they want to be on the TV, so then you can just hit a button, and you're playing the game on your, on that, your pad. That's, that's a cool idea, but, like, eh. And, but and again, like, those sticks are so fucking high up. Like, why are they up there? Like, it, uh -uh. You, you're, you made a good point with it being, you know, foundational for what comes later. But my issue is that on the Wii U itself, what exactly used that controller particularly well? Like, what games? A handful of Nintendo games. Yeah. And just uh, like well, I'm, I mean, I will, I will say I didn't really play any of the, like, drawing games or like doing whatever with like the touch screen and stuff like that i remember uh building some stuff with mario maker and doing stuff with that cool uh i i i would say this goes below in 64 above we pro mm. i mean below if we're gonna put it in bad, it, i think it belongs above in 64 it definitely does yeah no nah. i i i i think the level of iconic of the N64 pushes it up. That does not. I, I, I think those button presses, uh, like, have uh, a certain charm to them. And, yeah, like, the only, like, the only part of, like, the N64 that I think is, like, objectively worse than the Wii U gamepad is the, that analog stick is, is the worst analog stick of all time. Mm. You know? I'm, I'm going to track down a Wii U gamepad, and, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to educate you. Okay. <laughs> I've held them in my hands. They don't feel good. They feel backwards. Every time um, every time you put your hands on it, you you feel backwards. It doesn't I'll, feel I'll, good in your hand ever. I'll mm. allow us to put it in bad, but I'm putting I'm keeping it above N64. As it should be. All right. What is this next one? Wii U Pro uh, Controller. This next one is the Wii U Pro Controller, which I think is is a, a almost it's almost to the spot where the Switch Pro Controller is. Um at least in my mind, but you know, it's still got some drawbacks. I think that this is like the proto Nintendo Switch Pro Controller. The sticks is, like, are still I, for, above the buttons, right? Yes. Yeah, see, that's a problem. I've never so held this, this controller. This I, I haven't me, held it either. This for me, I'm putting this, I'm putting this at like right above N NES. I'm okay with that. Yeah. It looks fine. Mm -hmm. it, yeah, it looks fine. It's just, the, the, the sticks being above buttons is the worst idea in the world. This this is probably the controller I've had the least time with out of like what we've been talking about. Um and like from everything else on the list um i'd say um but i i think this is this is easily a good spot for it in my eyes um i would probably if i had my way i would have the wii u gamepad between the pro controller and the nes hmm. but you know them's the breaks uh moving on uh, i'm gonna kind of put these two together the joy cons here we've yeah. got the nintendo switch joy cons which you know i'm gonna i'm gonna say good Oh wow! Above uh, above Wemo, above Wemo. Oh Wemote. wow! Chat might be mad at me again. I'm going. I'm going top of great. Damn! Really? Yeah, See, top of great. The issue why it cannot move past good. I would agree with you in terms of like how it functions. Every single one of these controllers, to my knowledge, of course, any controller can break. But the Switch had the inherent problem. Of okay. Drift. Which the Joy -Con can, drift, yeah. It's the yeah. reason why I don't use the Joy Cons anymore because mine drift a little bit and it just ruins gameplay moments, sometimes games, depending on what you're playing. I just, when you have such a core technical issue with it, it can't be considered great. I've, I've Despite everything some, else. I've I'm not mad at that argument. Issues, Connor, like, I'm not mad at that. They, they die like a lot faster than they, they used to, also. Yeah. Or like mm. just like the battery is just so worn down. Um, Stick drift, so big that, problem. That's with, probably another reason. Switch. I'm, 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 yep. I'm only keeping it above Wiimote for me. I'm, not, I'm not putting it any higher, at least in my eyes. I, I, I mean, I, I just outvoted. so that we have the conversation on record. The, the, the first utility of the pro of the, uh, of the Joy Cons is 
fucking unmatched. This is the Wii Mote, but good. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, it feels like a real controller, uh, or it feels closer to a real controller than the Wii Mote does. Um, I think where the sticks are are great. I think the buttons are a little small and like uh, they feel candied. Mm-hmm. If that makes sense, like they feel like little like pieces mm-hmm. of hard candy. They don't feel so much like buttons. So like they're not like the best button presses in the world. And of course, the triggers are not the best either. Um, you but you're putting down there. But mm-hmm. I mean, you can use one uh vertical or horizontal you can use two separated that's my preferred <laughs> joy con is having them separated i love that i think it's ingenious to break it up uh and, and be able to have my arms wherever i want them yeah. individually uh you can throw them in the grip if you want that ki- type of experience there's different grips you can use there's you know like um you can stick them in a in a in a re- uh, wheel remote like the wii for like mm-hmm. mario kart and stuff like that you can put it in a, like a little uh toy gun to like a for like a duck hunt type thing um Mm. uh you and then of course when you use them on the switch itself as a handheld gaming experience i think it i think the switch feels like one of the best handheld you could get out there uh uh when it was released i think things like the steam deck and the playstation portal feel better Mm. um but i think uh the when when the switch was released it felt great um, and then, of course, th- just the ability to take it anywhere, and, and no matter where you are, those Joy-Cons have the same functionality. It's not like any of those functionalities are tied to the dock. Mm-hmm. You know, it, it's, right. they all work everywhere, which is awesome. I will say mm-hmm. they're a little too small. Uh, they don't fill out in the hand, uh, and some of the buttons aren't aren't where I would put them. Um, but I think this would put them at top. Personally, I would put them at top of great. I'm not mad at them being in top of good, but yeah, I, yeah, I think. For me, it would be a jump up. But mm-hmm. a great point, again, the stick drift and the fact that it's still a problem is a problem, right, yeah. all these years later. Um, yeah. The diversity of the I controllers think- is great, too. All the different colors and skews that they put out, awesome. Oh, Love yeah, fun. yeah. Yeah, I think, I think I, like I've already mentioned, I think the biggest problems for me is just the stick drift and, uh, like, how fast the battery drains after, after repeated use. Yeah. And then, like... For me, on my Switch, you know, you click them in. Uh, they, they don't mm-hmm. click in on the Switch well anymore. Like, that part got worn mm-hmm. away and stuff like worn that. Off. So, yeah. Yeah, I, so I, yeah, I don't know what's going on there. Um, but, uh, yeah, I'm fine with where it is. I'll, I'll take it. Nice. Connor, any thoughts? Yeah, no, exactly. You know, buff we. Awesome. Yeah. It's good. Here awesome. we go. It's good. Here Moving we go. on this to what, what I believe about. is the first entry to the top of this tier list. It's goaded. The Switch Pro Controller is just goaded. It's goaded. Feels good in your hands. The button placements in Nintendo consoles just aren't great comparative to every other one. Agreed. But same thing with the GameCube controller. It's just a matter of adjusting to it. Let I do wish. Back over I do wish it. the buttons were more clicky. I do. They, I wish they had a little bit more click to them. Yeah, sometimes uh, they're a little too they soft be, on the they press. They can be a little too loose. But you know, yeah. uh, I'd say I'd say this as the first entry to the goat tier is is very well suited in my eyes. Yeah. It feels great. It it's always great to use. Uh, for for a cool minute, it was my favorite controller of all mm-hmm. time. Um, and yeah, I I yeah, I think it's fantastic. And uh, Legain, to your point about the GameCube controller being in Goat, it's understandable. It just we don't have the same love that some people do. Uh, I think, clearly, I I think people get way carried away with their nostalgia for the GameCube. No, it just feels great. It, it feels good. It doesn't feel great. Mm. But yeah, Switch Pro controller, it fills out your hands. That's the big thing. And the Switch was lacking that with the Joy-Cons. Yeah. And so when they were able to do that, plus have one that's, you know, just all around solidly built. They na- they would- nailed this one. They should never they should never change the formula mm-hmm. from here. Maybe a couple of dynamic, like little tiny nitpicks, like like make the buttons a little bit more clicky, maybe do something with the triggers. Uh but yeah, form factor. Like it's hard to get better than this. Like yeah. it just feels so good in the hands. But great sticks. The sticks are great, which is something, in my opinion, Nintendo has never really done well. Is have good sticks. Mm-hmm. The the Switch Pro controller has great sticks. All right. Uh, now we switch from Nintendo and we go to Microsoft with Xbox. First off, we have the Xbox Duke controller. Yeah, this control is bad. Listen, as a uh, first time out the gate, it's not the worst thing in the world. Um, that being said, yeah, it's bad. It's too big. It's, it's too big and it doesn't yeah. feel good. Yeah. It, I like things that fill out my hand. Just a course correction. But uh, it overfills. Is yes, is you've it does, overfilled. Yeah. You've spilt the water all over the table, you know? And also, I feel like your it hands, wasn't the most responsive either. Yeah. Duke uh, is terrible. 
Um, it's the Duke controller. Oh. Yeah. Uh, I'm just debating on whether or not it's worse than the N64 in my mind. It's... N- it is. It, no, 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 it's not. Because I don't think it is. The, the N64 is just, it's just so weird. At least, at least the weird. Xbox controller is a controller that, as a basic framework, works. And, like, the N64 feels hollow. Worse, damn. Legane, I hated it. The Duke is terrible. It is worse, yeah. The, the N64 feels hollow, whereas the Duke undeniably feels like a brick in your hands. And I would rather that than a hollow-feeling controller, you know? So. With a weird... Like, cock sticking out the middle. Yeah, but as as a first time out, not the worst thing in the world. There's there's worse examples of controllers mm-hmm. out in the that aren't in this tier list. We're, of course, talking kind of like the, the big boys here. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. But, you know, I, I think them they're the first ones to offset the sticks, if my memory is correct. At least, mm-hmm. like, for what a modern controller is. Um, and I think it works really, really well. I think it's, it's the thing that... There's a reason that they never changed it, is because for some reason left stick feels good when it's higher than the right stick um and it's 100 percent because of those face buttons and where mm-hmm. they are and where they prioritize uh in your gaming so yeah i i think i think the duke is not the it's not the worst controller in the world but it's not good mm-hmm. it's not good if if i had my way i'd have i'd have the wii pro controller above n64 and then mm-hmm. you know Fair enough. I just don't think I, I don't think Wii Pro controller is acceptable in that era to have a controller that garbage. Mm-hmm. I, I I agree. Uh, moving on, the the slight improvement from the Duke, a slightly smaller original Xbox controller. Uh, I'm gonna put this below the Wii U uh, Pro controller. Uh, I it, never it, hold. It, it's basically a smaller Duke. Is all it I've is. I've held this like once or twice in my life. Um, I, I agree that it needs to go in okay. Um, I just, I'm going to fight for the NES here probably just because it's so impactful, so influential, you know, I called it like a generic looking controller, but that's like as a positive thing because it set the standard of what a controller should look like in your hands. I mean, before this, you got like, look at some of the old like Atari sticks, Mm -hmm. like where it's just a big stick and two big buttons and like, it feels terrible. Um, yeah, like. Uh, whereas this one, it's just like, all right, you've, you've improved your last controller, but it still isn't. To my memory, it still isn't like the best controller ever. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's it just feels still weird, you know. Better, but weird. I think I think it. Legain, it's always slippery and sloped. That is not comfortable. Yeah, I'm I'm with that. Mm-hmm. It's just yeah, it's just still not quite there. I'll I'll see to you guys where it's on where it should be on okay, but okay is where it should be. I'm I, I think I think overall I'm okay with the NES beating out the improved Duke just like for nostalgia but and design I, I, looks better. Yeah, I think like oh it does the look better. Pop, the pop of like the design and everything. Yeah, I, mm. I think I probably agree with that. So probably just have it at the bottom of okay. The best part about the original Xbox was the actual box. Yeah, it was. You know <laughs> that box. That box had characters, something to say. It was a great like Passover from like having the having the the ports in the front of the console the way it does. Yes. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Mm. I miss that. Love it. I, I miss. I miss consoles that look like that but menu the controllers too. left a lot to be desired mm-hmm. perhaps perhaps a tier list for a later date uh, actual console designs perhaps yes uh moving on uh to the xbox 360 mm. this still is um, xbox's best controller yeah what this is still xbox's best controller xbox 360 is yeah i i think the one slash series x sucks but we'll get to that in a minute but yeah i think 360 uh yeah they 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 dominated their era uh they they have the best of the big three they have the best controller easily uh those sticks are feel great Mm -hmm. those buttons feel great those triggers feel everything feels great about it um i don't love the white got a little dirty got a little (laughs) got a little gross looking but you could get black but you could get black and that fixed it good which i think is a good place for it i think top of great guys i'm going Mm. goaded Damn. Oh, absolutely not goaded. That's fair. There's, there's an argument to be made. I'm going goaded. I think it's underneath the Switch Pro, but it, it's I to me this is a goaded controller. It feels great. The I, buttons I'm, the buttons are the okay. right amount of like bubble pop to them. Like they pop out enough and they feel good to press. I'd be okay at top of grade. I'm not I'm not putting this next to the next to the, the, the Pro. only thing I don't like about this controller is the start and select buttons. Mm-hmm. Those always felt weird to press, but other than that, I think this I think this controller is is goaded. That's fair. I think Phil put it at the right spot, top of great. 
you know, Legain says I, bottom I, of great, I, top of good. Mm-hmm. I I mean Damn. that I originally had it at top of good, but y'all are put y'all are saying it's like goat status. I'm not Did, putting this any like I'm not. I putting didn't this say Didi says status. good or great as well. I uh, if if I have to concede for top of great, I'll concede to that. That's fine. Mm-hmm. I'm not I'm not super mad at it, but like that this I I still say this is Xbox's best controller. It feels the best. Uh, it feels full in your hands. The the battery life was great on it for being the you know was really good for, for being one of the days. first wireless last, controllers like, out mm-hmm. there in a meaningful way yeah wireless i mean you know you had you know uh you know gamecube had attachments playstation 2 had attachments and stuff like that but for mm-hmm. uh the first time out great wireless controller uh i love the the when you turn the controller on it tells you what player you are mm-hmm. with the one two yeah, three makes- four yeah, based on where it is. Epic. On the tool. That was sick. so badass. So badass. Why don't we do that anymore? You know? Because we don't play split screen anymore. <laughs> God, you're so right. <laughs> Man, the reason why. So oh, true. Everyone's uh, got their own screen now. Yeah. yeah, and those 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 triggers could go down in history as some of the best triggers uh, of all time. Those are great triggers. I love how clicky. Yeah. I love the 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 but the the I'm gonna dock points against the one, but the the bumpers are the right amount of click. Just a little soft click. That's all you need. Just a little mm-hmm. soft click. Like the GameCube. No. <laughs> All right. Uh, moving on to the Xbox One, I think, me personally, I would put this above the 360. Damn. Um, this is bottom of good We already good have it me. so high. I'm going to say top of good for myself. Uh, it's definitely in good. It's bottom of good. I think it's bottom of good. Yeah. It, it just feels... First of all, the big thing is it's a downgrade from the 360, and that kind of docks points in my mind of having a damn good controller and then having a inferior one. But it's also just I feel like my hands would slip depending on the game that I'm playing. Yep, man. It just it's I'm, the way it formed. My my thumbs are slipping off of the sticks. Um, the, tr- the to me the thing that kills this controller for me is the slight changes they've made to form factor kind of net out zero. There are things I like. That they change, but there's things I don't like about it. It just it, it, it doesn't feel as natural as the 360 to me overall. Um, but the thing that kills this controller for me are those triggers and those bumpers. The soft, the softness of that trigger pull is terrible. It doesn't mm. feel good to pull a trigger on this thing. The shape of the triggers bother me, um, and the hardest clicking bumpers I think of all time, and I hate it. It it it, it makes too much noise. Mm. It, it's too noisy. It reminds me of like a mechanical keyboard. Like those are too noisy. Yeah, and when I'm trying to play a video game, you know. All right. I mean, I was gonna, mm. I was gonna try to make a case for it being better than the Wii Remote, but you know. the thing with the Wii Remote is it, it's still interesting and unique. And yeah, it, it has a lot of like fun to be had with. Yeah, it. It, it's a weird thing with Wii where like, yeah, you can make an argument either you way, could. I guess, but like. It's because Xbox chooses to go default that mm-hmm. when they lose points on simple things, it's more devastating than we're weird and quirky. Mm-hmm. So you give right. them a little bit more leeway because they're weird and quirky. Also, okay. we sports. Also, we sports. Mm-hmm. You know. Also, we sports. Okay. Fun. Oh, and the button, the face buttons don't feel good to press either. Sometimes I don't even know if I'm pressing it. That's true. Yeah. All right. Well. Uh, now shifting away from Microsoft and Xbox, now so moving on to the PlayStation, uh, we have the original, uh, I believe it was just called the DualShock, uh, with no analog sticks. Um, I don't even think it was called a DualShock at this point. I forget what, the, what it was called, though. Um, definitely not GOAT at all. Oh, no. Definitely no. not GOAT. This is no. Definitely not. I'm going to say, I'm, I'm saying, like, maybe here? Like, middle of okay? The lack of analog sticks does make the games, you know. Eh, well, but like you didn't it for the when it was yeah, invented, you didn't yeah. really need it. Yeah. By the end of the PlayStation One life cycle, you did need it, and that's why they updated it, mm-hmm. right? So like it's hard to it's hard to kind of discredit it against the sticks, but it's definitely gonna be losing. It loses it, it loses I'm, a little bit of the DD, swagger here. I'm, DD, I'm, I'm with you. It goes between the improved the improved Xbox original and the NES. I'm gonna say between those two. Oh, it's better than the NES for sure. Oh, you guys are being, so? so you guys are landing on okay. I no, I, I think I, I can see okay. a push to good, but I'm not mad at okay. I I think neither it would be I, bottom of good, right? Like the Xbox One good, controller yeah. is better than this controller. It is, than yeah. I, yeah. Oh, I mean, I I say I would even argue. So I, I was going to say put this one in okay, and then put the one with with the analog sticks at the bottom of good. 
Mm. Hmm. Huh. That's kind of where I was gonna lean. You know what? I'm gonna push. I'm gonna push for it to be above Xbox One. But I'm not mad at this. I'm not mad. I think. I think Phil f- 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 be reasonable. <laughs> I love how quick yo this chat cannot decide whose side they're on. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm well, not mad at this. I, I'm how pushing. Am I betraying. I'm pushing. I'm pushing the first DualShock to be above Xbox One, but because I think it. I think those buttons feel better. I think the sticks are okay. So do I. Yeah. yeah. Look, other than that, all I'm saying, all I'm saying is that you gotta, you gotta have the analog sticks. Um, and for the, for the, I, like, for, for the guy to be like, I mean, I guess the N64, but for the first guy to come out with analog sticks, pretty good controller, pretty good, you know. Yeah. So okay, so we're saying we're saying up, that, just that up one, up one, just Connor, up. what what do you think? What do you think about the DualShock One being better than the Xbox One? Oh, it is Xbox One. You know, both of them are really, really close in quality. See, I really don't agree. I think the Xbox. I think y'all are just y'all just really don't like the Xbox One. But I That's think it's true. pretty good. I, thing. We don't. Yeah, <laughs> and, and part of it is because they lost so much ground after the 360, and they never got it back. Me personally, I like the Xbox One controller more than the 360. That's an, that's an insane take to me. I think 360 is having yeah. a slap fill. <laughs> you know, I'm trying to recall the PS One remote is kind of like Not small okay. in your hands, isn't it? I got one in the other room. Yeah, yeah. Bring it to me again. Yeah. That's the that'll determine whether I'm placing it above or below Xbox One because is it, it's I, probably that crusty, dusty one I gave him. Yeah, yeah, it probably is. Well, you you use the uh, the PlayStation One classic. <clears throat> Yeah, I did. Uh, yeah. Uh, up, oh, Tavins. No, it's good. It's good. Oh right. uh, yeah. I mean, uh, no. Yeah. So PlayStation One without analog sticks, it's in the proper position. Thinking about that again. Gotcha. Without so the, the what you're, y'all are saying, y'all, y'all are standing by the fact that this original DualShock is better than the Xbox One. Let me let me see what Tavins showing me. Because okay. yeah, I'm just just the feel. I just need the feel. It's been so long since I've even touched a PS One. Oh, I never even own, owned one. What's yeah. that? I thought okay. I guess the general consensus, like on the internet, people don't like the Xbox One controller. I did uh, not know this. I, I had no clue. Fine. I mean, I, I maybe the consensus is that I just never personally so liked. Here we well, go. from here our we chat, go. from out, our chat, our chat the, is like uh, hating on the uh, Xbox the One Xbox controller. One controller. Oh, Let me put my headphones on so I can hear Phil. I'm not talking. Over and also, guys, just for a little bit of a nostalgic reason, fucking, are we kidding? You know? Mm-hmm. How good is it to feel to unravel a, a controller? Cords are great oh, well, I, until I, they're not. They're pretty good. Now, again, this is old. Like, yeah. And it's beat up. And it's, Oh, I know how the buttons felt you know, and everything. I just want to know how it feels in my hand. I think that's, it feels that's, good. Yeah. I think it feels good. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> you, have to, like, you have to, like, find the groove, but when you find the groove, it's there. All right. Yeah. I yeah. Guess, okay. It'll, it'll okay. Go, I, I can. I can now. One. Now that I have it in my hands, I can dictate what I don't like about the form factor of the Xbox One. It's like kind of bricky again, like the like the original Xbox. They they fill out the palms nicely, like on the handles, but then they they hard dip inside. When they hard mm. dip, that's when it starts feeling weird again. It needs to continue to fill out on the fingers, on the on the on these guys down here. It needs to fill out a little <laughs> bit more here for 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 your comparison. Yep. Yep, I love that. No, don't. No. All right. But, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Don't, don't, don't love that. You know. Yeah, I, I, I'm pushing. Yeah, PS One just above. It's not though. The Xbox is better. The Xbox One. Oh, Are you serious? Yeah, it is. Switching on me. The problem is like the problem is when you get down to the analog sticks. It just feels like something feels weird. With I think these are old, hands. man. It's just no, no, not, not how not how the analog sticks move, but when I have to like move. Like here, let me show you again. Uh, I, I you don't need to do that. I'm just trying to get it a little bit because I, yeah. over, I overdid it. It's like bit. going from here, it's, it feels like they're just too low, you know? Like, mm-hmm. it, And then I have to like, it just doesn't, it feels like it's just a slightly inferior version to the PS2 controller. But Which it is. Xbox, they, like it has seemingly the same kind of feel issue in a way with the Xbox One. Maybe the Xbox One I slip more, but I think that one would at least feel more comfortable okay. in the general resting position. I'm not mad. I'm not mad at this. To have you right. too quiet oh. on this matter. I like. Listen, listen here, man, and and I don't think any of us are going to disagree on this next one. <laughs> like the the PlayStation One, when they put the sticks on it, definitely a huge market improvement. I don't think PlayStation 
uh, has made a terrible controller, but there's certainly ones that are better than others. And the first two, I think, are pretty solid. God, I love how these these shoulder buttons feel. That's yeah. great. All Before right. we needed well, triggers, this was great. Let's go ahead and jump to PlayStation 2, the DualShock 2. Go to... I'm, 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 I'm feeling top of great. Uh, if you want... if we're, I can, Whoa. I'll hear the argument for GOAT. I'll I think it's it. GOAT. Yeah. I, I think it's clearly goat. Uh, I think it, it it just fills out the palms a little bit better than the than the PlayStation okay. One. Uh, this is the classic controller to me. This is the one where it's like, okay, exactly. we have we have found and nearly perfected the formula. Uh, the only thing we needed is is just like actual triggers as opposed to buttons. But shooters weren't as big of a deal back in the day, and so and the let's be honest, the top R one R two used to work fine. That used to be fine. We you know. It, it, like triggers undeniably better but the top one the, the top r1 r2s or r, excuse me l1 l r1 those used to work fine for first person shooters and nobody nobody made a stink about it until it was until we knew better you mm -hmm. know i almost for influence impact for uh uh the era that it's in i almost want to give it put it over the switch pro i almost do but I don't, the switch pro I don't feels too good in the good conscious yeah, Neither I, can I. I don't think I can. I don't think I could either. But it is something to say, you know. Yeah, uh, it's something I, I to think, say, and, I, and I'll, I'll hear you out. But I don't think I don't think I can move it above uh, Nintendo Switch Pro. With this the fire you had trashing on Kingdom Hearts, it's, it's because, because I, like, did, did you not hear me when I was yelling about the GameCube controller? <laughs> like, I was there, man. What, like, okay. <laughs> but goat, obviously. But no, it's not better than the Switch. It just doesn't feel as good. Yeah, That's, yeah. You know, they both feel great. And let's be honest, like, the, like third party, there were third party PS2 controllers that did better than than the default. Yeah. There were, you know. But I think I I love I love the feel of that controller. Um, it's got it's a good balance between being a serious controller and feeling a little toy like, um, which I very very much enjoy. The buttons feel great. Uh, the the shoulder buttons feel great. The sticks are top tier. Um, yeah. yeah, everything about the PS2 is awesome. Yeah. All right, well, uh, I'm happy with where that's placed. Next up, we've got a, a pretty big downgrade with uh, yeah. the PS3. Bad. Sounds are echoing a technical uh Oh. Bad. I, I don't care what other features it has. All that matters is when I hold it, my hands don't want to hold it anymore. You know, I don't want to play with a PS... When I have to play PS3 controllers, I'm just like... Damn it! I have to play the play. I'm gonna, I I'm, gonna go. I'm gonna put it between the gamepad and the Duke. I gotta feel it. Hold on, let me go. Grab <laughs> one. I gotta. This is the first one I've got readily available for my hands because I got my PS3 uh -huh. uh, on my desk for like getting trophies and stuff. Yeah, but, I mean, yeah, I, I, I am in agreement with where you're putting it. I'll let, wait till Tavern brings it over so I can feel it. But sure. at least the screen, like you said, it it's something that set the way for like Switch. Uh, and those PlayStation portals and whatnot. But the problem with the PlayStation 1, uh, PlayStation 3 controller is it's a downgrade as well. You know, it doesn't advance anything. It takes one of the best controllers of all time and decides to... Ch they honestly could have kept it basically the same, but they decided to make it worse. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, it's, a change. Change. it's, it's undeniably, undeniably worse. worse. Yeah. It's undeniably worse. It's undeniably the worst one uh, that they've ever put out. Um, <sighs> yeah. I, this like is the, you're this prep, is one that the PS4 controller. The, yeah. Oh yeah. 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 I got. I got. I got them all. I got them all. Can you tell the guys I like PlayStation? Anyways, the analog sticks suck too. They just feel weird. I, this is the one I have the most nostalgia for personally, and I'm trying my best to put that to the side. I mean, undeniably, um, the triggers on this are terrible. Um, they they they're a weird combination between what triggers should be and uh, and what came before with the L2 R2. They're too soft. Um, and there's, it's weird. They're soft, but also resistant in ways that it just doesn't feel good to pull on. Um, I think the face buttons feel great still. Um, no, these sticks are good. The, the problem is the form factor. It's a, it's just like a, t it's like, it just shaved off a little too much weight. And the, you can, it, the interior. It's almost, it's like a weirdly light. I just, I just have to defend the position of in bad to the, uh, those in chat. You guys must have small, weak, soft hands, you know, not strong, meaty ones. What PS3 in bad? <sighs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna push for defending the PS3 controller. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna push for okay. I, I'd be okay with bottom of okay. I'm debating on whether or not it's better or worse than the Xbox. 
Um, no, I think yeah. I think you gotta put it below the Xbox. You do. Yeah, yeah. you have to. At least the top of okay? No way. In what oh, world is this better than the original crazy. PlayStation controller? I just held the PlayStation 1 controller. Oh, obviously, analog sticks away, it still feels better. one for yourself. But I'll say, this controller had a great battery life. This controller had a really good battery life. And, and like, I mean, this is, this is the same one I bought when I first got my PlayStation 3. This is the same controller. Works perfectly. No drift. The, the, the sticks didn't wear off. That's a problem with the PS4 controllers. The sticks would wear off. Um, and I'm not like letting the, it slide. I'm, I'm, I'm on their side. I think it belongs I, at the bottom of OK. The, the, bo the, the buttons feel great, man. The buttons do feel good. It's just it's the form factor and the triggers, man, that really hold it back. It's too hollow. It really brings it down. Yeah, it's too hollow. It's too small. It's too skinny. Uh, and uh, those triggers are atrocious. Um, <laughs> um, you're breaking my heart here yeah yeah uh, bottom of okay and it breaks my heart to say it but yeah it's bottom of okay mm -hmm. it, it hurts to say it now i mean it's all up from here guys there's no there's no, i'll be right back i'm gonna go grab mine yeah so yeah the 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 dual shock four um I, for a long time and still debatably you know my favorite controller of all time it's top three for sure um i, I think this easily goes in the goaded conversation um the only problem the only problem i have with this controller is oh i got two problems actually is the battery life is not good and uh the sticks the sticks are too slippery you slip off of the sticks too quickly and um a lot of the launch controllers the rubber on the sticks all peeled off way too quickly mm -hmm. um but yeah, I think I think DualShock 4 easily goes in in, in goaded. Um Yeah, bottom of goaded for now. PS2 is better, I think. Well, no, no, I think this is better. I think this is better than the PS2. No, you're right. Here's no. here's my thing. No. Here's my thing though. Here, let me see. Yeah. Uh, can we really have 3 PlayStation controllers in goaded? Absolutely we fucking can yeah. cuz guess what? There's going to be a fourth one in there too. <laughs> hey, they've made the best controllers. They just can't. Oh, oh, I get you cuz you're you're already putting DualSense in there. Um, uh, yeah, my thing is, is like, the question for me really goes, do, does this go below or above the Switch Pro? Um, because now it's just preference at this point. I don't think either controller really does anything The Switch Pro and PS2. I think the triggers are better on the 4. Yeah, they are better. Yeah. But I think I'm with Phil. I think the Switch just fills out my hand a bit more. It does. To where I, that's that's really it. And also yeah. it has the touchpad, which I've never really been the biggest fan of. I like the touchpad. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it's, they, it's not like... When they use it in cool and creative ways, I like it, you know? Mm -hmm. you, you guys got to go play Infamous Second Son. That shit was dope. I, uh, I like the touchpad. I don't love the touchpad. I'll say this is not this is not the best D-pad in the world. Mm -hmm. Not the best D-pad. Let me, let me feel... That's a three. Do we have a two on the table? We don't have a two on no, the table. Don't. Two and the one are basically the same. No, the four has a better D-pad than than that. Um, I, I agree. It's got, it's got a good, better D-pad than the one and the than the two. And listen, it was a hard switch moving away from a select button to a share button. Yeah, but the share button, like that was a smart move. That was a really smart move looking back. And you, you know? gotta think like there's also the little light, the little light. Uh, that changes like some some games use it in cool ways. Yeah, I, I think the light is obnoxious and it pulls away battery power in a way that isn't necessary. But you're right, the detail of like when your health is full, it's green. When you're on low, it's red. Or you know, if you make a morality choice, it changes colors and stuff like that. That's cool. Um, uh, I I love the touchpad because it adds more buttons in creative ways and you don't need to use all of the buttons as a game dev you can you can just it can just be it's the map button sure fine mm -hmm. but um you know it can also you know the the swipingness of it 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 functions as two sometimes up to four buttons depending on what part of the touchpad you touch i think it was a really good choice um speaker i just remembered the speaker Mm, that sucks. that is gonna dock a point for it. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna yeah with the with the speaker on there, I'm gonna definitively say less uh, uh, lower than the the Switch Pro because that speaker one sounds terrible. It's a terrible speaker in the controller and it's obnoxious. It's like and the annoying. Wiimote speaker. That's what it reminds me of. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and yeah, I don't yeah I don't like it. I think we're good where we are. Touchpad is the worst feature. Are you crazy? The touchpads are awesome and it only got better. Mm, nah, it's, it's the, this one. I mean, it's 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 the worst feature on a great controller. Tom. No, the speaker's the worst. The, point. the speaker is the worst. But I mean, like, okay. still, point made. 
touchpad yeah. makes it below that and the speaker below. Now, the dual sense, listen, undeniably, PlayStation was in need of a change. Mm -hmm. You know, we had four of the same thing, right? Essentially, you know, just small differences. So, uh, I think the dual sense is great. I love the choice to go white. I, I, you know, I've I've always said I think the PlayStation Five is a sexy ass console. Um, I love, yeah, I love everything about this controller. I think it's all fantastic. Um, the the choice to put a microphone in it, I don't love so much, but I kind of understand why they they went that route. Some games could use it. Um, I do like that there's a mute button on the controller, and you know when I plug in my headphones, it still functions as a mute button no matter what. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So um, there's a lot great about this controller. Battery life is certainly a problem. Um, I think touch my biggest is, gripe with the PS5 controller is the is the is the uh, battery battery life. Battery life, yeah, battery life sucks. Buttons feel great. D pad feels great. Sticks sticks are awesome. The grippiness of that stick, you feel that grip on that stick. That's awesome. That's exactly what the PS4 was missing. Um, the triggers are awesome. Connor, you talk shit about the adaptive triggers. I love them. I think they're great. I think they can be annoying. Mm -hmm. So it is all you know dependent upon the dev implementation of it. But when it works, god damn, does it work? It's awesome. Um, I, I just wanted. I just want to shout out for both the PS4 and the DualSense Five. Uh, for just the dual sense, sorry, not the dual sense five. Um, I love that like the top of the controller is like nice and slick and sleek, and but the bottom is like slightly textured so it'll like stay in your hands comfy. I would and absolutely it doesn't, like, get slide around. PS5 controller again. Absolutely, I would. PS5. Yeah. PS5, not, PS5 not the controller. We getting freaky with this. Oh, with the PS5, would I get freaky? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'm sliding all up pop in the, that disc the tray. That I don't have. He has no hole to put it in though. I have no hole. To put not it like me. Like, I'll find one though. I'll find one. You know, no. I think everything about the DualSense is better than than the DualShock Four in every single way. I think the touchpad going bigger was the right choice. It being bigger now, it like it makes more sense, like because it takes up more space. But it doesn't feel in the way. It kind of feels a little cluttered on the DualShock Four, the 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 touchpad mm -hmm. because it's so small and the the controller itself is kind of small. There's so much handle. There's a lot of handle on the DualShock Four. Um, God, these triggers feel great. Um, it's been a long time since I've touched a PS4 controller. Um, but yeah, like it, like in every marketable way, the PS5 is just better than everything PlayStation's done, in my opinion. If I if if I may be so bold, I will say I like the face buttons on the PS4 better than the PS5. Um. I think we're down to preference at that point. I like I like that the PS5 looks bubbly, like how the Xbox One kind of looks bubbly, but it doesn't feel bubbly. I love that it's a flat button and it has the right yeah. amount of click. No, I, I like that, but I'm saying I like the I like the more resistance I get from the PS4 face button. I feel more resistant in the dual sense. But I do I feel more feedback on the four. Maybe maybe that's what I'm confusing. Like it, it definitely like I feel like I'm pressing the button more than I am with the with the sense. I kind of understand what you mean by that. Um, but yeah, the uh, you know what I do miss, um, and it's funny when you play older games and like, sir, like for example Doom, right? Mm. Doom right now. I don't know if you gentlemen have gotten the BFG yet or not. No. Well, the BFG is colored green, right? And you press the triangle button to switch to the BFG in that game. And I was like. That's a weird choice. Why did you choose to do that? But it's green because the the button on the controller is green. Mm -hmm. You know, for for the, for the PlayStation, kind of matches that way. I don't know if they because it's a third party game. It went to everything, and obviously, you know, this guy's this guy's yellow up here. But it just kind of feels like well, the BFG was always green. So I I think they with with the uh, PlayStation Four controller in mind, they chose that way. Uh, all of that to say, I miss when there was colored face buttons. Yeah. Yeah. I don't like that they're all gray now. I don't like that, you know. Uh, you say you like the color. The color sucks. The white tech color. No, Between this and the PS5, no. both those things suck. What are, what are you saying? What are you saying right now? I thought you were talking about the face buttons. No, 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 the color. It, it being white? white? Yeah. What's wrong with that? I mean, just white tech isn't as good as, like, the black. Or oh, I like white gray. tech. I like white tech. Mm -hmm. you know? I'll say, I, I'll say I, like, I like my Spider-Man one better than my plain one. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I use the Elite, and, it, you know, which... I like, I like my God of War one better than the plain one. Yeah, 
I, yeah, I use the the elite, not the elite. What do they call it? The edge. I use the edge. Mm. And uh, Tavin's edging. That's yes. definitely a that, that's a better controller than this one. Uh, it's just it changed the texture of the controller. That's something we haven't really talked about before. Is the texture of these controllers? Um, yeah, PlayStation Edge. God damn it, so fucking Thanks, Great Goddard. First time chat. We agree with the list too. Agree with the whole list. Thank you, Great Goddard. Yeah, th this is the way it's supposed to be. Not done yet though. We got oh, no, what are we the are. rest of these. Those, what? those four are I ones I already it. I've already discounted from the beginning, guys. I was like, oh, oh yeah, okay. yeah, let's yeah, go. Yeah. I was gonna say I don't know what these are. So <laughs> exactly, I I had already mentioned these before we started like actually ranking them. So is there anything no! here? No. <laughs> so someone liked those, I guess. Is there anything here that we would change now that we're at the end of it? I would just bring the GameCube down. <laughs> no, no, I think this is a great list. We put the GameCube controller above the PlayStation One. What are we doing? Also. GameCube should, should be above the NES, I'm going to say. SNES? SNES. I've never no. played it, never held it, no. but I'm going to say it's no. better. No. 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 As well, the Joy-Cons are better than the GameCube. Uh, Connor, as, no. as, uh, Joy-Cons are better than what? GameCube. Nah. No. Standing by. Anyway, it. Drift. Uh, we're going a little long here on the Piggy Bank podcast, but I think it's a good place to stop it.